Hi right, everyone, it's Michael Eilbrock with MJE Diagnostics and today we're going to go over how to use the automated compression test uh, with the e-scope and uh, as you look here at the top screen you get a picture of how you're supposed to hook up so you're going to take channel one you're going to go to battery positive you're going to take your ground lead and go to negative on the battery and then depending on type of what trigger you have for channel two you're either going to hook up to the primary side on a coil uh, with uh, your with the red tr uh, trace at plus or minus 500 volts or um, if you have a, um, a diesel engine which is what we're going to be showing here today because I mainly work with uh, heavy duty equipment and trucks and stuff you're, what we're going to be using is is an injector uh, sink and we're going to be using a current clamp for that okay and the reason why you want to do that use a current clamp is because if you trigger off of a voltage trace for a diesel injector on a common rail system the injectors fire multiple times okay so it'll throw off your trigger all right so the best way to do it is to use a current clamp because it's going to find that first initial uh, current rise on the injector and it's going to trigger off of that instead okay so now the next thing I want to address is well with a lot of diesel engines in order to crank the engine over to do a relative compression test you have to disable fuel you know to the injectors okay which that could be time consuming and then the other thing is too um, most of the time the easy thing is to just take the uh, the electrical away from the injectors to do the test okay but the problem there is now you don't have a sink okay so what I do is I use a dummy load hooked up into the sink injector that I'm using and simulate the resistance of the injector and then it will actually fire the injector because it thinks that the circuit is closed okay so you're basically fooling the computer making it think that's every everything is okay so when you do that, the ECU will fire the injector and you'll see a current trace on your scope as your sink, okay? And that's how we're gonna do it today. Um, later on, I will show uh, the tool that I'm using to do this test. It's basically, it's a 100 watt rheostat. And uh, in a separate video, I will show the tool that I'm using and I'll show you where you can purchase the tool. It's pretty inexpensive, I think it's like 25 bucks okay so it's a pretty cheap tool to uh, to have and it's uh, it's very handy um, you can not only use it for uh, substituting loads for sync but you could also use it as a substitute load you know to test integrity of wiring okay so it's a lot of cool things you can do with uh, with load testing okay so anyway uh, with that being said let's go ahead and let's start the test so first thing you need to do you need to select your firing order and the firing order for this uh, truck it's a Packard MX-13 it's a six cylinder so it's going to be 153624 for your firing order you want to make sure that the box below says ignition is not waste spark okay that the reason why that's selected is if you pick this ignition is waste spark that's for a distributorless ignition system so you don't want to have that so make sure the box is checked ignition is not waste spark and it'll be an orange color okay so now that I have that set up and I also have my trigger cylinder set up right here for cylinder one and my trigger level here percentage of channel 2 max voltage is at 40 just leave that alone you don't have to touch it and then I'm using an 8 second crank because on this vehicle I don't have to worry about only a five second crank like with other uh, models so I'm just gonna do an eight second crank which is plenty of time uh, for this truck so now all you have to do is you just hit start test and I'm gonna crank over the engine and let's see the results that we get
Okay, so we just did the test. I'm just readjusting my tablet here. Okay, so we did the test, and then if you look to the box to the left, it shows detailed efficiencies, and it's showing average uh, percentage of your cylinders here in the left box. And you can scroll down this if you want to as well. Okay. And then if you look uh, to the right here, it has the bar graph here that shows you uh, how your sil cylinder contribution is doing. So it all looks relatively evening here, and it's showing you which cylinder is which here in the firing order. Okay. So now, after you've done this test, it asks you if you want to save the data from the test. So I'm just going to hit OK. And then I'm going to put in here, you know, known good PACR MX13 relative compression test. And you just hit OK, and now it's saved, okay? So, as you can see here, this was really quick and fast to do this test, you know? So, setup time, you know, getting to the batteries and getting to, to the injector on this uh, truck did not take a whole lot of time at all, okay? So, it's a pretty fast and easy test, and it's, uh, you hit the button, you do the test, and it shows all the data for you. It's really quick and fast, you know? So, and as you can see here, it graphs the voltage on the top screen. So as every time the voltage goes down, that is showing peak compression on your cylinder. And as you look here on the graph, they're all relatively very even to each other, okay? So that also shows you as well that, you know, your cylinder contribution is just fine on this engine, okay? so. Uh, this is a great test, it's fast, it's easy, and it'll help you rule out mechanical problems really fast, okay? It's a lot better than having to take off the valve cover and check everything that way, <laughs> or, um, you know, say you want to check timing, rip off the timing cover. Using a scope now is the way to go, okay? So, if anyone has any questions about this test and what I did, you can uh, just uh, shoot me a message. Uh, on the YouTube channel here, or you can contact me through my website, www.mjediagnostics.com. And I look forward to hearing from you. So I hope everyone has a good day, and uh, thank you for uh, joining me.